But so we're in um, in the Brits area, and um, we're looking at uh, how to how to um, how to to manage the the gummy stem blight mm -hmm. issue with the application of some chemicals, mm -hmm. which we'll discuss. Yeah. Okay, so um, so that is a plant that you've got there that has already yes. got quite a heavy infestation of yeah. gummy stem blight. Uh, can you just tell us the symptoms quickly? Yeah, exactly. Normally we face in the most of the greenhouse now with the gummy stem blight. And the gummy stem blight start from the here, these part of plants, the between okay. the roots right. and stems here. Yes. And the reason is because of the high humidity. Okay. And maybe it's a spore in the greenhouse or other greenhouse is come out of water. So what are the conditions the soil, that yes. we're looking for to get stummy bl gummy stem blight yes. um, development? Yeah, Humi high, yeah humidity. high humidity. Okay, and uh, that's the basic things: high humidity and dark uh, environment. Okay, without the proper light, like a sun. All right. That's the humidity is come up, and this one, that's the area, the fungi infected. So the symptoms start from these kind of things. You can see on the leaves start yes. to lesion from the edge. Yes. And the, at the bottom, you couldn't find anything at the new growth. It's coming from the like bottom from, of the yes, plant. Yes, from okay. the bottom. You see here and here and here. Yes. Has become progress from the root system. And if we broke the here stem, you can see the infection starts from here. Okay. The lesion and the rot con con condition. So how do we solve this? Now this this is a, a challenge. This comes from the xylem and vessels systems come to the through the plant. Yes. And it's not very fast, but make the plants very weak. Yes. And start very slowly and reduce the amount of fruit, reduce uh, lots of abortion and the new growth. Yeah. And these kind of symptoms that you can see the gummy stem blood. Okay, so good. All right. So so um, how do we now solve the problem on young plants like this? Yes. Um, you you mentioned the, the that that we that we use a uh, uh, mancozeb, yeah. uh, a copper product to be able to just isolate the stem, the yes. place where the infection occurs uh, in a way. So let's just look at the way that we, we, we recommend you do that. Yeah. It's better to all the time monitor the greenhouse to find it's a very small sign of this disease come and do the isolation from the stems. Okay. What we can do is to use the mancoze as a the granule, the mancoze, that's yes. the, like a half a teaspoon. Yes. And mix with the that. Okay, so you would put that mancozeb into this medium here. Yes, this medium, or could be um, cocoa peat or yes, soda. So you sure. need to mix that. Okay, so you mix it, right? Yeah. Okay. And put it around the stems. Okay, so this is very important. So you actually pile it up against yes. the stem where the actual disease would start, right? Yeah, exactly. It's better to use the dry. Uh, so those dry or copy, medium, yes, dry medium to put uh, mix with the mancozen and put yes. around the stems. Okay. It this one has a two benefit. The one of them they reduce the humidity around the stems, and if the fungi and when it's dry medium, yes, you reduce the humidity exactly around the base of the stem. Yeah. If you uh, if the fungi wants to infect the plant, with it, it's in contact with the amount of the fungi site here. Yes. and the lack of humidity okay. and can go to the and can infect and penetrate to the man uh, that's a to the plant. stem yeah, yeah exactly. to the plant okay so, so you're isolating it you you're binding it you basically placing the medium yeah. that you've that you've mixed the the with yeah exactly. around the stem of the plant and that's where the infection takes place from right yeah exactly because okay. the infection comes exactly from this one and after that the fungicides come out slowly, slowly to the plants because yes. that one is systemic yeah. and goes to the plants. Even if there is any infection in the yeah. uh, top of the plants or in the here, yeah. that start to reduce and decrease that infection and makes plants happy again. Okay, great. And so very simple technique. Yes. You mix the mancozeb into some some medium like this yes. and you place it the around the base of the, the base of the plant. Okay. Exactly. Fantastic. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Mohammed. Thank you. Nice little tip.